My name is Michael Durr. I'm a photographer and a videographer here in Indianapolis. I'm actually coming to you today from my garage. And uh, the reason we are out here is because we we're doing a product shoot for Circles Ice Cream. I'm Wes from Circles Ice Cream, and I accidentally started an ice cream business. <laughs> I am shivering and well answering these questions, and I can actually see my breath. <laughs> I went to Antarctica almost a year ago. It's a, a place that is truly amazing. And one of the things that they told me there was you're now a steward of Antarctica. And when you go home, tell people about your experience and the wildlife and the landscapes and be an advocate for the region. It was important for me to share my experience in every way that I could. I don't even know where the idea sparked from, but I had this idea to create Antarctica themed ice cream. When Michael reached out about making an iceberg ice cream, I went to his Instagram and I immediately saw this photo of thousands is, is what it appeared like of penguins on this iceberg that looked like ants. And I thought that was just the craziest photo I'd ever seen. Now I'm a big ice cream fan. I was like, what if we did this social media thing? And it can kind of be like collaboration between the two of us. It all just started to kind of come together in my head. I thought it was a cool challenge. Most of our flavors are inspired by their food. So it was cool to be inspired by just an object and what that would taste like, what it should look like. So at that point, it was really in Wes's hands to kind of develop the flavor profiles of each of the ice cream flavors, one of which we called Penguin and the other one Antarctic Iceberg. And uh, he really did a great job at not only creating a flavor that tasted good, but also looked like what we were trying to make it look like. For the iceberg ice cream, we wanted it to look like an iceberg and taste like one. So we made a blue sea salt ice cream with vanilla wafer glaciers and white chocolate snow banks, mimicking the landscape of Antarctica. Now, I'm not sure if icebergs actually have salt in them. Glaciers are fresh water. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. I, I think I realized that later and I was like, oh. <laughs> For the penguin ice cream, we wanted it to look like a penguin. So it's a black chocolate ice cream layered with white chocolate ganache, and then it has these black chocolate cookie crumbles throughout. Whatever's in it gets layered all the way up and then topped with it. Frequently people say, oh, I wish that was layered all the way down. And when they get, you know, about an inch down, they realize, oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> The logo on each pint is really fun because we try to make it represent like what the flavor tastes like. So when you look at it, hopefully you know what it is, what it tastes like before even reading the name. Michael flipped it upside down to make it look like an iceberg for the iceberg one. And then we kind of converted the ice cream scoop into the head of a penguin for uh, the penguin flavor. When I think of Antarctica, I just think of penguins. And when I think of penguins, I think of the zoo. So we thought, hey, let's work with the zoo. Let's donate some money to them. So our goal of the collaboration was to not only create awareness about the region of Antarctica, but also on a local level, be able to showcase the penguin exhibit at the Indianapolis Zoo. We thought, okay, what else can we do? How about a postcard? People can go to the zoo, write down kind of what they saw the penguins do and then send it off to a friend or their grandparents. When you purchase the ice cream, you get a postcard with it. I actually have the postcard right here. And you can see there's the the penguin on one side, the icebergs on the other. My hope is that rather than someone looking at it and tossing it in the garbage, that people look at it and maybe throw it up on the refrigerator, show their kids, let their kids draw on it or scribble on it. And the fact that you can actually throw it in the mail and mail it to somebody, we thought it'd be a fun way to continue to share the content that we've all created here. What started off as an idea of collaborating with a local business ended up turning into this kind of cool storytelling piece about a whole region of the planet, about the conservation efforts that are going on on a local level, and also at the same time, just a fun way to share some content. I think the main thing, we just wanna keep making just the best ice cream we can and working with other partners here in Indianapolis to make like unique flavors that only exist here. And I think that's what keeps it fun and exciting for us and for the people who like to buy and eat it. I ended up, you know, coming back with the goal of sharing this stuff and now I'm kind of putting it on others to share it from there. For me, that would be cool to see <laughs> um, and really kind of bring it full circle, pun intended. <laughs> you know, each time either a friend or a stranger says, this is my new favorite ice cream. Mm. Delicious. It's like, awesome, let's do it again. <laughs>
I'm going to Antarctica and I'm taking ice cream to the penguins. <laughs>